transsexual turnaround. The former Navy SEAL who lived as a transsexual for the last 10 years says he's no longer trans. Appearing on the Robbie Starbucks show, Chris Beck, formerly known as Kristen Beck, suggests he became transsexual in 2012 because he suffered from adjustment disorder and wanted to get rid of the caveman he had become. I had some trauma, you know? And now I'm walking into our psychologist's office and one day, one day I had a letter in my hand saying I was transgender. I was authorized hormones, I was authorized all this other stuff. Just one hour with a VA psychiatrist and Beck began the transgender transition. Beck is a highly decorated Navy SEAL who served in the military for 20 years. He told Starbuck that he parroted the words that he was told by psychologists and liberals who profited from his gender dysphoria. He likens it to brainwashing and says he was told he could make millions of dollars. He and professor of psychiatry Ann Speckard wrote the book Warrior Princess. Beck explained that groups gave him awards for simply walking into a room. They'd tell him how courageous he was. Really? I guess coming out as trans is more courageous than facing down the Taliban in Afghanistan or Al-Qaeda in Iraq? Although Beck became transgender after his military service, liberals used him to help advance their agenda to impose transgenderism on the U.S. military. The thinking was, if a former Navy SEAL could become trans, then why couldn't trans people serve in the military? Beck warns parents against giving their children hormones or allowing them to undergo gender reassignment surgeries. He says it's all about protecting the mental health and well-being of our nation's children. And he urges parents to do research and examine data from Sweden, where sex reassignment surgeries and treatments have been going on for years. And now these children that did this really young, they're getting older now. And what's happening to them now? What's the suicide rate? What's happening to them now and what are they looking at in their life? I look back on my life and I see how I destroyed everything in my life that was holy. The temple of God, our bodies, what we have here. We're hurting our kids. Kids are dying. And I don't want that to happen. It's killing me because I helped do that. It's CNN and how they used me. Part of my image is, is hurting these kids. Everything that happened to me for the last 10 years is just, it's just horrible. They destroyed my life. I destroyed my life. I'm not a victim. I did it to myself, but I had some help. He sure did, and so have others suffering from trauma or gender confusion. Beck says thousands of gender dysphoria clinics are now popping up around the country. And suddenly, transgenderism has become popular. A multi-billion dollar industry has been created. Folks, parents need to get some common sense here and put the long-term health of our children front and center. Like Planned Parenthood profiting from abortion, we now have a whole new industry making big bucks from hormone treatments and surgeries that alter the sex of our children. Beck rightly mentions 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, where the Apostle Paul writes, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Yes, we are made in the image of our Creator, male and female, He made us. Let's honor that and listen to this former transgender Navy SEAL who says it's not political or religious. It's all about protecting the long-term health and well-being of our children and the person that God has destined them to be.